Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get your crosshair showing up for light gun games on RetroPie. So in most cases, these are going to be automatically populated in. You're going to see them on screen as soon as you take your light gun out and start moving it around the screen. Some games though, typically games that aren't um, in the MAME collection, they're not going to always have that. So one, for example, is House of the Dead 2. So I went in here today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go about fixing this and getting those crosshairs up on the screen. So let's get started. All right, so to demo this process, I'm gonna jump into House of the Dead 2. Today I'm using a Wii Remote with a Mayflash Dolphin Bar in order to play light gun games. So you can use whatever light gun you want. Um, I choose the Wii Remote with the Mayflash Dolphin Bar, but the process for showing your crosshairs on screen is going to be exactly the same regardless of which light gun you're using. So this is all set up right now. I can jump into this game as it is and play right along with it. The only thing is my crosshairs are not showing up on screen. So I'm just gonna sh show you guys real quick on the next next screen here. Right now I should be able to see crosshairs on the screen and I can. So what we need to do is we need to jump into RetroArch, which you see on the screen right now. What I did in order to jump into this was I hit my hotkey enable button with X. So I have select programmed as my hotkey enable. If you have one of those controllers where you have some extra buttons on there and you have used one of those extra buttons as your hotkey enable, just go ahead and hit that along with X. It's gonna bring you to the screen that you see right now. And then we're gonna hit our B button to back out. And that's gonna bring up what appears right here is quick menu. And before we jump into the quick menu, I want to just show you guys the settings here for light gun games. So we're going to go over to that second column, which is settings, and we're going to drop down to input. We're going to select input, and now we're going to go down to port one binds. We'll select that. And you just want to make sure that your device type is set to light gun. Now, not every single game out there is going to have it set that way, but uh, for this particular title it is, and for a lot of other titles that I've seen, it's usually set to light gun. Uh, sometimes it'll be set to mouse, so just make sure that you're not on gamepad controller, otherwise it's not going to work for you at all. So we're just going to back out now, and we'll go back over to that first column. And the first option at the top here is quick menu, so we're going to go ahead and select quick menu. And now we're going to drop down and select options. So it's about midway down, select options, and now all the way down at the bottom, which we can actually get to by just going up with our D-pad, it's gonna bring you straight to the bottom. You'll see that the bottom option here for settings is show light gun settings. So you can see here that the toggle is all the way to the left, which means that it's turned off. So we're gonna select this, and we're gonna go up to on and select that. So now you can see that the toggle is all the way to the right. So now, right below this, there is nothing, everything is blank on the settings here. So what we need to do is we need to hit our hotkey enable button and X at the same time. It's gonna bring us back to our game. And then as soon as we're back in the game, we're going to hit the hotkey enable and X once again, and it's gonna bring us right back into RetroArch. Kind of a funny little workaround here, but trust me, it's gonna work. So back to the game, back to RetroArch. We're going to hit our back button here twice and we'll just go right back into options once again. This actually resets it, and now if we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see here we have some additional options now. So back up here, we have show light gun settings. We can see that that's turned on, and below that we have gun crosshair one through four display. So we're gonna select the first one, which is gun crosshair one display, and you can see that that's turned off. So we're gonna select it, and to turn it on, we're gonna just choose the color that we want our crosshairs to be. So I'm gonna choose red. I think red works really nicely for most games. Um, so I'm gonna select red, and you can see here, it brings us back to that previous screen, and for gun crosshair one display, it's currently set to red. So now what we can do is we can hit our hotkey enable and X and jump back into the game, and I'm going to just move my Wii Remote around the screen, and you'll be able to see that now the crosshairs do show up on screen. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see from this video, it's super easy to get those crosshairs up on your screen, and it just makes for a much better gameplay when you can actually line up your shot with light gun games. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a ton of different videos, tutorials, gameplay demos, product reviews, 
all types of great stuff here on the Retropod Guy YouTube channel. So definitely hit subscribe. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropodguy.com. Thanks for watching today.